Just like us, dogs can suffer from allergies and food intolerances. Chris, what are some of the reactions that dogs can get? Yeah, some of the, the common ailments that you'll see is the constant itching and mm -hmm. scratching, um, licking and chewing of their feet. Um, and even to the extreme cases where we might get a, some vomiting and diarrhea. Yes. Mm. And, and what is it that's causing this, do you think, mostly? Depending on what they've currently been mm. fed. You know, if, they're, if they've been on a, uh, a manufactured diet, processed diet, moving across to a raw food diet, you will um, probably nine times out of ten fix this, these conditions. Because what we're doing is we're stimulating their immune system first and foremost. Um, when they're coming back from a manufactured diet, the, the immune system has been suppressed. So just two weeks on, on a raw food diet, you really will see changes and a lot of these little allergy symptoms or whatever will go away. Okay. What if they are on a raw food diet already, so they're having beef and chicken in your range and then they start to react to this? Can that happen? Yeah, absolutely. And, and those two proteins are, are the most common mm -hmm. proteins that uh, there is an allergic reaction to. So in our core range, we do have those two proteins blended in each one. So if that's the case, and even some of our users that are finding those sort of issues, it might be advantageous to move across to our allergy range, which is a turkey and a kangaroo. And they're species specific range, so mm -hmm. the, the muscle meat, the crushed bone and the offal content, which will be your livers, kidneys and hearts, are all derived from that particular animal. Why are they different? Like why is kangaroo better than beef or chicken, I guess, when it starts to come to allergies? Yeah, well the beef and chicken, it, it just is it's the most popular. Yeah. So with our allergy range, we've just stayed right away from those two mm -hmm. proteins. But something like kangaroo is wild game meat. Mm. So they're not exposed to some of the other chemicals, yes. uh, pesticides and all those sort of things that, mm. that, that can find their way into the food chain. Okay. Um, so we can stay away from those for the kangaroo. And the turkey, it, look, it's very similar to you know, chicken processing and that as mm -hmm. well, but we've just seen where there doesn't seem to be issue with turkey. So that's the reason why we went the other way with turkey. So there's, there's really a red meat and white meat there for them. Okay. And if, you know, if people are trying all of this with their food but they're still finding some um, issues going on there, what would you recommend that they do? Um, well, uh, definitely um, go to a raw diet as yes. quick as possible. Yes. Uh, but give, allow two weeks, be patient. Okay. Um, and it might get worse before it gets better to tell the truth. Okay. Um, it might bring that out mm -hmm. and, and move it on quite, quite quickly. But, you know, really allow yourself about two weeks, but get away from any of that processed food, mm. any of those processed treats, um, and just give them that raw diet uh, and allow some time. Okay, so just get back to basics. Get back to basics. <laughs> if you think that your dog might be suffering some food allergies, well, check out the Big Dog website and get some tips from there. Absolutely. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. <laughs>